move the menu buttons like their cards do, like what you just saw. Has there been any new RL videos of the guy for the floppy disk? Yeah, like a lady... Uh, so this area we're in right now, we had to beat four bosses. One, two, three, four. We beat one and two. We're, there, we're kind of at the third boss, and I haven't even looked at this area yet. So, wait, what is this? Oh, I didn't even see this before. What is this? Oh, is this the, fu the fungus guy? Uh, oh, you found us here. This is good. This is good. We require duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. The thank you. The diagram? Okay, I don't have whatever that card is. Uh, we lost the game. Do you see the skelly hand? Oh, God. Why are you doing that, Juggles? All right, so this person uses like a Necromancer card deck. Again, you try, I'm beginning to tire, but I must acquiesce. Let's see how you fare. Um, pay one energy to deal damage across from Cosmic Jimmy. Um, hmm. Okay. What is this? We're going to more power form one turn on the board. Oh crud. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, there we go. That fixes it. Okay, so we can, so we, uh, here we go. So we can spend one blue energy. I've got three to have this thing basically fire a gun. So one, Plasma Jimmy fires. Two, Plasma Jimmy fires. Marvelous, an opportunity to use my quill. Rip Sarcophagus, turn two to turn three, death by Plasma Jimmy. This one will be back. Oh, so all the bosses cheat in different ways. Can he shoot across to her? No, it just errored out or something. Okay. No matter, death is never final. Rip Bonehound. Death by Mage Knight. That one will be back in no time. Okay. I can't play anything because my side of the board is full, so I just pass and my stuff is just going to attack. Uh, same, same thing. I can't play anything, but once this comes down, Plasma Jimmy can kill it. Alright, so... I could sacrifice this... Oh, I don't have a green Power Stone. I can't play that. Uh, do I have bones? So every time a creature on my side dies, I get a bone. I've got one. I need three to play this. So first, let's do this. Plasma Jimmy fire. Plasma Jimmy fire. And then I can throw this down, but it's, it's just gonna do one hit and then die. Uh, okay, this guy is really powerful, but he's gonna do, he hits diagonally. So if I put this guy down, he's gonna hit there and hit there, but then he'll die to the dog. So I think I just wait. Okay, I got a green stone. That changes things. So what we're gonna do is destroy our own orange thing. Uh... Why didn't this guy die? This guy should die because I don't own any Mox cards. That's weird. All right, Emerald Mox, there. Stim Mage here. Stim Mage can use the blue energy stuff to uh, get jacked. Then attack and he can kill the dog. This guy went face. 
All right, so they come down. Use Plasma Jimmy to kill the sarcophagus with two shots. I, it worries me, this thing she's doing with the quill, because she has two lives. I'm thinking when I take her first life, she's going to like bring back all the stuff she wrote down or some crap. All right, use the remaining energy to stim. And just attack with everything. What is this? Shutterbug, damage to the creature, the creature perishes. The creature moves into space, which is totally don't want damage. That's really good. I don't need that right now, though. Uh, how do you pick the variety games? Do you have suggestions? I have a game recommendation channel on the Discord. People can put stuff in there, and I always read it. I don't take every suggestion. There, honestly, there's enough suggestions in there that would last me a year. And usually what I do is I'll be like, okay, I've got, um, you know, I'm interested in playing this genre, let's say like a real-time strategy game. I'm like, here's some suggestions, and then I'll let the VIP people, which are the Twitch subscribers and the patrons, they're the ones that help help me pay my bills. And I'm like, you guys vote. And they'll vote, and then I'll, I'll do that. Now occasionally, like, you know, I'm not gonna have people vote on End of Dragons, I'm just doing that, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, so let's do stem, stem, All right, so she's gonna go into phase two. Now, what does that, I've never gotten here before. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what did that say? What did that say? I was so shocked by what the guys, my, my guy said. That I didn't see what the, the rules said. Do you miss them? I'll give them back. As corpses. What? What does that mean? <sighs> I am confused. Alright, um... Wait, can I just... Can I win in one turn? Oh wait, they're all like zero ones. Zero ones. Wait, no, is that normal? Like, I think I can win right now in one turn. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I was sitting here and I'm like, okay, should I assume she's gonna do something really crazy and like just build up a, a defense? Or should I just go all in and then, okay, never mind, she's just dead. You really defeated me. I was not expecting that. I see that it is your ambition to replace Magnificus, but, well, between you and I, there will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. You receive a card back. Uh, broken Obol, Dead Hand. When Dead Hand is played, discard your hand and draw a new hand of four cards. Skelly Magus, Wolf Cub, and Green Mage. All right, I don't, I know what those do. I don't need any of those. Revenant, uh, Tomb Robber. Activate, pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Sarcophagus, Null Conduit, Wolf Cub, okay. Go, I need to collect my thoughts. Okay. Uh, when an opposing creature is placed, uh, Bob's in your one home, that's where. Okay, so we got one island of stuff left, and then. I don't know, maybe we'll be out of 8 bit world after that. The note reads, greetings, if you're reading the uh, this, it, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnific Magnificus. Um, okay. What is this on the table? It looks important. A strange monocle. You put it on. <laughs> I'm looking very boo -skies. The inside of the chest is covered with sticky green goo, but you find a card pack. Blaine's Mox. While Blaine's Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Also, while on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. 
So this is just a better mox. Um, Raven, okay, so that I'll actually put into my deck. Can I give a small tip for a helpful utility item, not story related? Uh, not if it's hidden. I, I don't want you to tell me if it's like some hidden thing. All right, so Emerald Mox out, Bleen's Mox in. Uh, okay. So there's like a little dotted line now with the monocle on. These are all different card abilities. Well, wait, some of them are. I don't recognize some of these. Okay, so we've got a puzzle type thing going on here. Passage to the right. Is this the traitor? Okay. Wait, can I do anything with this? Collected cards. Oh, this shows you that there's openings in your collection or something. Okay. Another double mox. The thing is, though, that the double mox allows you to use, uh, like, it counts as a blue and a green. I'm not even using any blue cards, but it has just, it has one more hit point. So I was like, yeah, okay, sure. Um, I'm using, right now, I'm using green, orange, and energy stuff. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Hmm. Are his apprentices outside somewhere? Okay, so there's just the one thing left. Uh... Huh. Find my apprentices. The note re wait a minute. The note reads greetings if you were reading this was because you were challenged me when this was a cover out. So skull thing? First part of the privilege you must first be with your graduate students. Wing? Skull again. Whoa, it changed. Skull. Wing. Skull. It's the blob dude we saw trapped in the bottle back in the previous game mode. Arg, the pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. Do you see? Magnificus turned me into our goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master as one of his prized cards. Ah, nothing will stop me. <laughs> All right. Um... The power of green mage is equal to the number of car, uh, green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. So if I kill the gem, all of those will be super weak. Alright, so let's put a sentry drone right there. It'll kill it the moment it spawns. Just slam down my entire hand on turn one. Free shot. Hey, what's up, Twix? Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, wow, that was really not good. Uh, I can't play anything right now. Mage. First time using Shutterbug. That is a lot of overkill damage. So overkill damage actually becomes money. So it actually rewards you for doing the last hit as hard as possible. 
No, please. Please. Just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. You received cards. Dude, I feel like I'm condemning this guy to hell to play a card game. Uh, master Bleen, activate. If you have a blue gem, sacrifice Master Bleen to draw three cards. Huh. Uh... Okay. So I guess that's one of them. Here, I can open the door for you. Ah. Alright, so that's one apprentice, presumably. You find a card pack among a heap of sharp implements. Oh, there's another Blaine's Mox. Didn't even have to buy it. Ruby Golem cannot be sacrificed. When Ruby Golem perishes, a Ruby Mox is created in its place. Thick droid. Alright, I'll add Blaine's Mox to my deck. Let's see. Emerald's Mox out. Blaine's Mox in. Uh, the dummy stares lifelessly at you, then suddenly springs into motion. Now, is this a... If a creature would attack Force Mage, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't play any of this on turn one, other than the Mox, but I don't want to. What does the skull mean? What does that do? Let's throw Plasma Jimmy down for now. Practice Mage leaves a Ruby Mox in its place. Oh, and then it... Okay, alright. And then that shoves things to the side. Interesting. Plasma Jimmy's attack is not actually an attack, so I can do that. Um... We're just going to wait. Ruby Mox moves. Alright, so we're going to put this down, then destroy that, then put him down, and then pump him up. <laughs> Just start by to say hi to you, uh, people love you. What's up, Aurora? Hi to you as well, my friend. Maximum overkill. Not that I've been- I literally haven't bought items at a shop a single time, but by god I have the option. Dummy hinges back- Korea, oh wait, the dummy's hinges creak back to position and it returns to its lifeless stare. Wait, what? Oh no, is this literally just like a repeat? Wait, is this like a, could you farm this? I think you could farm this. You can farm it, but it's for a different purpose. Oh. Well, if we ever got really stuck in this game, I, you could literally farm this for money for the shop. Interesting. Alright, what else we got in here? Alright, we got another thingy. Um, now while we were fighting that, it we saw a skull followed by a push, and we didn't see a third symbol? So what if I just swap through all of these? Feeling clever. Just imagine you are an ice cube, slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh! I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear. Oh god, she's just a head? 
Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. If I kill that, that dies immediately. Good. That guy's gonna kill that, then he'll die. The same thing I just did to them is about to happen. Back up to three health. Oh, overkill. Yo, it's not often that actually happens. That's kind of like Magic the Gathering Trample, but we don't see it much. If there's another card in queue and you hit this guy really hard, the spillover will go, go to the card behind it. Oh, he has no Mox cards, just dies immediately. Oh my god. The comeback! Stim Mage comes through again. No, Stim Mage has carried me. Perhaps I will be the center, central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. <laughs> Take this back. I've mastered disappointment. Making me feel bad. Uh, Gore Mage. <laughs> I love the name. Pay two bones to increase the power and health of Gore Mage by one. That's a lot harder to use than the energy guy. Master Gorange. If Master Gorange's owner controls no Mox cards, Master Gorange perishes. Oh, he's he's two six for green orbs. That's real. That's really cheap considering. Green Mage, Steel Mice, uh, Thick Droid. I guess Steel Mice kind of makes an infinite loop. You play it and then you get another copy in your hand. So you could keep doing that, which eventually leads to more bones. But that's still it's not as efficient as uh, our Stim Mage. Go. I'm guessing that just drops you back down to the first floor. All right, well, let's go up here first. There's that bit of color. The chest is empty, save a single card, a rabbit. The note reads, the top sigil is found by the greedy. Okay, well, we just found a rabbit in a treasure chest. Is there a rabbit icon? Yes, there is. Now, what's over here? A skull. Okay, might be an empty room with just the sigil. Okay, so there's a... Oh God, am I trapped? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, how did I get in here? <laughs> the note reads, the middle sigil is found by the pale. Was that the skull? Or by those who hear too easily. 
The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily. So is is pale the corner thing? So skull and then I don't know. Okay, so let's make the bottom one the skull and then we'll just randomize through the middle ones. Top sigil is found by the greedy. That's gotta be the treasure chest, right? The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing. Or those who hear too easily. Okay, that just takes you back to the bottom floor. This takes me back to the skull room. So both there and there take you up to the skull room. You reach back in for more. Greedy. It wasn't the rabbit. The rabbit was a decoy. You reach in for more and notice a sigil where the card seems to be. Okay, okay, okay. The rabbit was just a fake. Okay, so it's gonna be air. And then one of these is skull and the other's random. So we're gonna cycle this till we get back to a magnifying glass. Okay, so then we'll put the middle one on skull and cycle this one. The last one was a shovel? I don't get it. At last, STIMULATION! My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Hear me, Magnificus! I'm ready! We have to battle? Okay! <laughs> Alright. Gem Fiend. If it controls no Mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. That's a Mox. Uh, it's a shame that I do not have the... Um, what is it called? <sighs> Words are tough. It's a shame I don't have the sentry gun. All right, so we'll, I'll counter Mox with Mox, put this guy down, and then next turn I'll start juicing. Oh, I can't. Juicing is turn three. Mage, please. Oh, a new arrival. Oh my god, the stem mage carry again. And we're about to get maximum overkill, too. Card is set to be yes. That was incredibly stimulating. We we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again, to sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? Yeah, bye. <laughs> uh, when Draugr versus creature inside is release double gunner. Oh, my second double gunner. Do I want that in my deck somewhere? If I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? Let me see. If I want double gunner in here, would I take anything else out? I don't know. Maybe broken obol? Where's double gunner? There we go. Okay. Let's try that. 
Oh, what is this? 